All right, folks, this is Pete Downing coming to you from Boston, Massachusetts. Hope everybody's having a great week. All right, let's talk about Citrix Managed Desktops. All right, we are going to provision a demo, and uh, I'm going to show you how Citrix uh, Managed Desktop works and you know what you need to think about as you start looking at this service. Now, the first thing you're going to notice when you first log in is you have this option to do what's called a quick uh, create desktop. All right, and what this is, is it's a static desktop that you're gonna use Azure AD to manage and you're gonna have no connectivity to your corporate network. So this assumes no connectivity to corporate network and it also assumes that you're using Azure AD uh, for more of like an SSO type scenario. All right, if, um, you know, I'm gonna do a little highlight on Azure AD because I think there's a lot of confusion around that. So I could put in a name here, for example, and I could put in a number and let's say, I, and then I can create uh, quick create. Now this is not gonna let me create 50 desktops, but let's say hypothetically I clicked on quick create, it's gonna automatically go in, create the infrastructure needed. And guess what? I only have to pay Citrix, not Citrix and Microsoft. So that's the advantage of this is it, is it consolidates who you're gonna pay and how you get access to your uh, desktops in the cloud. Now, let's say I wanna get a little more involved. I'm gonna click on get started, all right? And you can see I already have a catalog getting created right now. And what's really cool about the uh, catalog creation is it's gonna go in, it's gonna get, go in, it's gonna generate the virtual machines, and then it's also gonna create what's called the cloud connector. So it's gonna create the whole infrastructure for you. So then that way, all you have to worry about is clicking a button, say provision, and go. So how do I do this? All right, so this scenario right here is a multi-user uh, Win 10. Let's go in and create some static desktops now or uh, some random desktops. So I'm gonna go in here and create a catalog, all right? And in the catalog, I got a couple different options. I'm gonna focus on random pool desktops. So I'm gonna click on that. Now, if I wanna add these to the domain, I have to go in and um, uh, select what's called a uh, corporate network. If I don't wanna add them to the domain, I would do what's called a quick create. All right, so I'm gonna say yes, and that's the only option for right now um, until they can get some other functionalities within the um, cloud. And we're gonna put in my, uh, my domain name here, very simple domain name. And I'm gonna put in my username uh, and password. Uh, and just in case I do this, and then I'm gonna put in my password. All right, so once I do that, it's gonna bring up another dialogue and say, hey, what type of machine do you wanna spin up? So I'm gonna pick standard HDD just to save some money. And you can see out of the box, you have a, a wider variety of machines you can pick. Now, do I need a killer machine for testing? Probably not. So I'm gonna download to or downgrade to a B2S, and that's a two CPU, four gigabit machine. Now, let's say hypothetically, I wanted to do 50. I would type 50 in here, but obviously because this is a demo environment, it's only gonna allow me to do three. But to be nice, I'm gonna only do one just to save some money. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my master image. Right now, this is the stock image. So it comes Windows 10 Pro 1809 plus the VDA installed. Now what's great about this is this gives you the power of plugging into an existing um, uh, backend Citrix scenario. So I'll show you what's in the image once we get it up and running. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do XT uh, pooled. We'll call this XT pooled, Oops, not pooled. Um, and one final thing I want to show you is the power setting. So I can go in here and let's say hypothetically I had 10 machines. I could say at any given point out of the 10, always have, you know, once you get to nine power on the 10th one, once you get to 10 power on the 11th one, so on and so forth. Once I get down to 10 power off, power off. So I can have a power plan in place to save even more money. So that way I'm not burning. Like I always like to say burning money. All right, so we got this thing all ready to go. Uh, we're gonna click on create catalog and we're gonna come back and see how we fare. So I'm gonna click on create catalog and it's gonna go and put it in the queue. And what I'm gonna do is just so you can see kind of the process here, I'll bring it up on the screen and it's gonna take some time and we'll come back in a little bit.
All right, folks, as you can see here, we are fully provisioned. So if I uh, take a look at uh, the catalog, I am able to now go and access these desktops. So um, if I click on desktop, if uh, I can see what I have uh, as far as the desktop goes, and if I edit it, um, I can see, you know, I can give the name, etc. And if I had, a, if, let's say 50 in here, I would see all 50 uh, desktops in here as well. Um, and then, you know, if I go into subscribers, this is actually going to you know, plug into my uh, domain. And so, you know, let's say I wanted to assign this to uh, domain admins or domain users. Uh, I can do a search for domain admins and I can plug in both and, um, and then let them get assigned. All right. And so basically by doing that, I am now assigning uh, some users uh, to these desktops. And then if I go and look at the machines, I can see, you know, what machines are uh, are available and created. And then finally, I can go and see what power management settings I have. So pretty cool, uh, pretty cool setup. And so what I'll do is, let's see, I'll, I'm going to add, uh, I can add some more machines to this catalog if I wanted to um, and go from there. All right. So let's, uh, uh, I'm also going to go in here and add a subscriber to my multi -app, app server and what you can see here is i have again uh, a multi-use server uh ebd uh, i can do desktop and apps so i can actually go in and manage apps for example and i can add in apps from the start menu so let's say hypothetically i needed to uh, install maybe a SaaS app or something i could uh, but i'll just keep it simple and let's say i want to host up um you know google chrome and you know maybe uh, let's see notepad and add in you know notepad or wordpad right uh, so add in notepad and then add them in and then I can host up apps uh, and then again what I can do now is I can go in and um, and add in my subscribers so if I click on subscribers I can again search for my domain and spell it right and then I can go and add in my two domain scenarios and I could add users, etc. And again, I can see how many machines I have. I can put them in maintenance mode uh, and I can go and take a look at, um, you know, the power management settings. So again, two different scenarios. I got my Zen app scenario here uh, and then I got my, um, my just uh, static desktop or my pool desktop scenario here. And next I'm gonna go into you know how to uh, access these desktops in my next video so thanks for joining me uh and keep an eye out for number two